Let's look at the row highlight template at SharePointDashboards.com. This is a template that allows you to highlight your rows with different colors based on the value in one of the columns. In my list, I have a column which I call task result, and I want to highlight these rows based on the value in that column. So I've got four different values. You can use this template with a status field or a category field, any kind of field you can set a rule based on that. When you get to the template screen, you can look at some different theme options to give you some ideas. I'm just going to use the first theme. The first thing you should do is clear out these default values. This is here just to show you possibilities for the template. So click the gray reset button. And then the next thing you should do is enter the name of the field, which is going to be used to control the row highlighting. My field is called task result. So I just enter that here in the bottom where it says field required. Now I need to add the four choice values that I used for that field. So I'll do those one at a time. I just enter that in this choice value field, and then I can select a color. So for processing, I'll go ahead and do green and click add row. And then for the next one for finished, I'll pick a different uh, color background for that. So for finished, I'm going to go ahead and do yellow and click add row. I've got two more to do. I need also to do hold and not started. So for hold, I'm going to do a red highlight. So there's red and then not started was the other option that I need to take care of. And for not started, I'm going to do a uh, blue background color for that. And just click Add Row. Now I'm ready to go. I can select other configuration options. I may or may not want to have border lines between my rows. And then I just need to indicate the field type. In this case, we're going to do this with the choice field. And I can go ahead and do Copy Template. A pop-up window appears. I just need to follow those directions, then click OK. And then I can come over to SharePoint. This is a view formatting template, so I need to select the view selector in the upper right. Go to the bottom and select the option that says Format Current View. Then click on the Advanced Mode link in that pop-up window. Replace the code by pasting in from your clipboard and save. And there is the row highlighting. Now, this is going to change dynamically according to changes in those values. So as an example, um, I'll change this one to hold and you're gonna see the background color on the row change automatically. And that's all there is to it. So you can use this with a text field or a choice field and this is just a nice way to have some visual indication based on status values or categories for your SharePoint list. This is a pro template. It's part of the subscription package at SharePointDashboards.com. If you are new to this platform and you'd like to try it out, you can sign up for free and get access to 20 free templates. The Pro Template subscription allows you to have access to more than 100 templates. And that is all you need. Good luck!